What is good guys and girls of YouTube? I'm Justin Amoe, and if you're wondering, yes, it is a new phone I got, finally, after like 10 million years, but there is a way where you can actually use FL Studio, like, functions on your phone. So if I were to hit this green button, that says play, you'll notice that it works. I can stop it, just play it. I can put on the metronome, I can lower the metronome because of my preview, but well, you know, lower it down on the mixer. I could turn it off. I could go into the piano. All right, first, let me stop. I'm going to the piano. But anyways, I just want to show you guys and girls that it's possible, and I'll run through how you do it. So first and foremost, you have to get the application from the Google Play Store named IL Remote, Image Line Remote. It'll look like this image right here, Image Line Remote. So yes, go ahead, download it. If you gotta use your computer just to download it on your phone, do that. Next up, once you do have the IL Remote app, you have to have to make sure that your computer, that you use in FL Studio, and your phone is connected to the same internet um, connection. Once you connect to the same internet, run the app on the phone, and then notice at the top right of the screen, you'll see a blinking orange, or you'll see a lit green signal. If it is set orange, that means it is not connected to your computer yet. First off, in FL Studio, go into the MIDI options, which is like the first option in the options menu. Then down at the bottom right side, you'll see a little section that says enable image line remote or IL remote. That is going to, you know, let the computer say, hey, network. We got a network that wants to, you know, connect with us. Let them do it. If you get green, you're good. If you get orange, there's still something you have to do in order to connect. Your firewall may or may not have given you any asking or, you know, like, hey, should we enable this? It probably automatically blocked the signal for you to connect to the computer because, you know, that's a firewall's job. You can't blame it. So in order to fix this, we go into our control panel and then go into the Windows firewall settings. At the left side of the window, you'll see something that says, uh, was it, allow, give access to programs or apps. Either way, click that little link right there and then go into the box. You will notice there's a box and it shows uh, allow all, block all, give some access, etc. You will have to go down the list and see if you see FL Studio. If you don't see FL Studio, go ahead and click the add button and then in the destination, click the little browse, the little dot dot, I, I believe, or the browse, whatever it was. Click that and then go down the list till you see your, your uh, program. If you don't see it and it's more of a directory, you have to go into your C, computer, program files or program files x86. It depends what bit program you are using. Go into there, search image line and then go to FL Studio, locate the FL EXE or FL 64 EXE, and go ahead and double click that and you will be set. If it doesn't work, we start the computer, give it another shot. If it does not work after that, then you'll have to go through my route, which is disabling another virus protector's firewall. I have AVG and I've tried so hard to make this firewall exception work. I even did the same directory thing that I told you just now and it still didn't work. But in that case, all I have to do is simply right click the AVG in the little toolbar, go to disable firewall, and then I'll notice the lit phone, the green on my phone saying, okay, it's good, you can use it. And then I put back the firewall on because once my phone connects, we're good. The firewall can't do nothing about it. You should be good by then. If you're not good, if, it, if it's still orange, you have to retrace your steps or find out if you have like other programs that have like antivirus. It could be that stupid Norton shit. It could be uh, Casebury. It could be Avast. I think that's one of them. AVG, like I said, there's multiple different, um, what's the word, virus protector programs. So make sure you find all of them that you have and enable the, you know, exception to the directory so your phone can connect to it. All right, guys and girls, hopefully this works for you. If it did, thumbs up. If you still got a problem, I don't know, hit me up in the comment section below, see if I can answer it. Hopefully, I mean, you know, I'm trying to help you all out. And yeah, 
uh, I don't know if I just said this. Thumbs up the video if you like this video. Subscribe to your boy, Justin Omo, if you want to stick around, see more cool videos like this, or when it comes to your microphones or whatever. And yeah, social media links. I don't know, I'm going to pick a side. At this side, go ahead and follow me there if you want to see my life, like Snapchat. I was currently under like a breathing device and you know because it's stupid cough but anyways that is all hopefully you like this thumbs up subscribe blah 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 i'm out peace